Okay, what's up guys, it's Dolbeck here, and today I'm gonna show you the first M10 gold in Empyrean Forge of my server. Maybe it's the first ever, but I will not say it, I will just say it's my server, because I did not follow any other streamer or anything. So, it, I'm gonna go into it, I'm a, I'm a mage, I'm happy that uh, mage uh, can do mutation. <laughs> Because we all know we was not able to do it during a long time and that sucks. And now I'm happy to, to be able to do it. Uh, so I go all into it. Uh, I got all my piece human war with the weapon perk. <coughs> fire and ice. Uh, let's go into it. So the fire staff I started with. Is the old fire staff I had with flame attunement, king vicious. And I started with that uh, IG2 with uh, Pylon Burst and uh, King Vicious. That, that was pretty good. That worked good at the start. But at N10, uh, I dropped this one. So I started to use this one. But the problem about the forging staff is there's no keen. And with the new update, you need a bit more keen. So uh, I had a ring at the start. I had the keen, you know. So I was able to put uh, fire damage. I was hitting a bit harder. But at the same time, uh, <clears throat> I switch for for keen instead of uh, fire damage. So like this, I do more the damage, and when I get the empower cap anyway, I don't benefit for the fire dam from the the ring. So uh, it's not too bad, going really good. I feel like I got a DPS upgrade like that. But I had to change the ring to really fit it because uh, I was hitting uh, almost no crit, only 10%. Is not a lot. So yeah, I had to change my ring for this one. And uh, the amulet, I just change. I have two deep amulet. <clears throat> I just keep changing between uh, fire and nature. And that's it. Just the, the same uh, amulet. And that's it. Easy shit. Uh, the E-Rain, I use Iltitos. I say instead of Refreshing Evasion, if you can have Evasive. That would be better, but I, I don't find it. So yeah, it, when I, I feel like my tank have sticky aggro, I use Ilti Toast. And mostly during boss fight, I use Ilti Toast. And when there's a lot of mob around and my tank cannot keep the aggro, I use uh, Evasive E-Ring. But yeah, that depends on a lot of factor. In the boss fight, you don't need Evasive too much, because the, the, the tank is supposed to keep the aggro of one one mob, you see what I mean? Like, if you cannot keep the aggro of the bus, it's wrong. Alright, so... I'm gonna show the human ward, I'm gonna tell where I get it, and how I get it. Uh, at the start, we needed craft mod, and there was no craft mod nowhere. And, uh, you know, there's those uh, purple armoring fragments when you salvage something, like... Uh, I, I probably don't have any on me. But uh, when you salvage something... Yeah, I have some. Give you infused armor scrap, and with that, you can gain XP on the um, armoring station, and it gives you um, expertise crate. And with with those expertise crate, you gain craft mod. And I had like six or seven hundred, so I gained five craft mod, and I crafted four piece. Uh, I crafted this one. Refreshing Kidar Fire Human Ward. I feel like Kidar Fire is really good. Refreshing make it just better. And uh, Elemental just to have more Elemental resistance. I dropped this into the dungeon. I got really, really lucky. But I was already using one that I dropped into the dungeon. I, I'm going to show... Um, wait a sec. I, I use this one uh, around M5 and 6. I dropped this and I started using this. But I did my wall progression with the. I reached M8 around with the Wizned piece. Uh, some, uh, the Wizned is pretty good because of the Elemental Version Shrinking Fortification. It's almost like a ward. There's the Waxen too. I put some waxen piece, so I have some uh, more in a matter of version shrinking fortification. 
and I had a hat to uh, that I was that I use only for the more DPS uh, physical version. Not too bad. Too as a mage, I get hit by archer a lot, so it's not too bad. Um, but I got I take it only mostly for the lower fire and the rune glass onto it. And you know, at the start, when when you have to reach antenna, when you like, I got this hat till like M6, M7, so like. Uh, there's less m elemental involved into it, so the um, I ha it's why I put the onyx into it. I had to have less uh, resistance, but more you go higher, more you need. So it's why now I'm all opal, and uh, yeah, I only have one nature because it's a nature mute, and uh, I switch my amulet for nature during the world dungeon. I need to do that uh, during. Uh, during boss fight, I, I switch my amulet for fire. Like right now, if I go to a dungeon, I'm better to start like that. So yeah, deadly frost, refreshing human ward, amazing. This is the weapon perk I wanted. I got just very lucky that they dropped it to me in the dungeon. Like it's just like amazing. Uh, empowering fireball. I crafted this one. Uh, I got I. I'm so used to craft shade walker shit that I just crafted it like that just by a bit, but it's not. I was better to craft the elemental one uh, or like the balanced, uh, not the physical. It's a. You see what I mean? Uh, yeah, the pants. I crafted this one too. I got very lucky. I got a legendary and a beast too, kind of. Some people say shrinking energy is not beast and you want refreshing instead. It's say that both are very good and that depend. I I think I better like shrinking energy, but you know I'm a mage. I'm far from everything, so maybe I'm not the one that uses it the most. But at the same time, you're gonna see in the in the boss fight at the end, I have to evade the boss, so I'm pretty sure it does uh, in the boss fight at the end and stuff like that. <clears throat> and unending to unending to amazing, and uh, you want it for sure, bro. Like. And then the pylon burst, like uh, pylon burst, do the damage in the wall area if you put it inside the clump on on the top of a boss, and you manage to put it somewhere where it's gonna survive a bit and do a couple of weep, and that shit does a lot of DPS, way more than a high spike, way way more than a high spike. And then uh, like you imagine, okay, you're gonna put your pylon on the floor, okay? Let, 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 let's do it. Pile on. So you see, do a burst. Do that and that. And then I start my detonate. And then I throw my fireball, fire pillar, and my detonate explode while I have all this going on at the same time with the empowerment. Just imagine the empowerment I have at this moment while doing like, all this at the same time. Just nasty, man. Like. So yeah, this is what I use. Um, yeah, Ilti Toes, so Mana Potion, I just keep spamming RT Meal, um, Infused Potion, on my on my tool, I get uh, Gathering Alacrity on every one of my tools, because I want to run faster after Gathering, and I want uh, Efficiency too, I want uh, Harvesting Speed quicker, like on this one is Skinning Speed, this one is uh, meaning efficiency. You see what I mean? Like you want alacrity and efficiency, and then uh, yeah, make make you do it better. Like it's pretty good for dungeon. And yeah, that's it. Uh, overall, uh, that's it. As you can see, uh, M10 new dungeon unlocked already. Empyrean Forge, and um, yeah, bro. This is it. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope y'all like it, the video, and peace out. Thanks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just realized I forget to show one of the most important things. I'm playing 100 con and the rest int. Easy shit. And for the fire staff, this is my tree. You can just copy and paste. I like to have just a bit of fortify, I don't have too much, but yeah. And then, uh, yeah, 10% <laughs> you want that. The rest is not uh, too much in need, like, uh, everything in there is pretty nice, seriously. Uh, 
I wish I can reach that, but I uh, I needed uh, some stuff into there. Uh, the the spell focus on me a lot. Uh, seriously. So yeah, this is it and the uh, IG. I really wanted that ultimate chill, so I had to put uh, that. But it's not my favorite uh, passive, but still I had to put it. To like uh, ice gauntlet ability, that's that's huge. Like the pylon uh, increase ice damage dealt by my ice storm, and my ice storm increased. Uh, you see what I mean? Like the twenty five percent. That's a lot. So yeah, that's it. And now it's a real piece. I hope everyone liked the video, man. Goodbye, guys. See you. Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolbeck here, and today we are in that new dungeon, Empyrean Forge, in New World. It's the first gold of my server, first M10 gold, it's maybe the first ever, but we don't know. So yeah, first M10 gold, uh, it's in that new dungeon, Empyrean Forge, um, and we have a good time doing that dungeon, really good, not too long, not too short. As you can see at the start, we just had a big lag, I don't know, for some reason, uh, big lag, and uh, then uh, it was weird, but, yeah, we still keep going, everything goes good, we try to do small pull, we tell each other that uh, the only goal was just to gold it, it was not a speedrun, nothing, we just the first to gold this dungeon, so we just go for it, and there you go. Every stream I watched it today, was always um, some people getting farm in mutation 1, mutation 2, or just doing regular. We are in mutation 10. It's the hardest mode in the game. In the second day of the game, I reach M10 on the first day, and then I go to sleep, and second day, boom, we go it. This is how we do, guys. So, yeah, we keep going. Everything go pretty well. We keep with the small small pool. We try to not miss any gatherable. Um, yeah, we don't take too much risk. The only goal is just to gold it. So yeah, when I saw this uh, dungeon, I tried it in the PTR, I made, uh, I, I tried, like, I read everything on the fire staff in the PTR, I was thinking about which build I was going to make uh, before the, the dungeon came out, like, I was uh, thinking about it all the time, because like, I'm a mage, and, and I had to play melee in mutation, because the mage was not strong enough. And now I can be mage, so like I was thinking and thinking what I'm gonna do. Like uh, I like the fire staff so much in this game. If there there was no uh, animation luck, I think the fire staff would be like the the best weapon in my opinion. But you know, nothing is perfect. So yeah, we push on the left, as you can see, and not on the right. On the right, there's a priest. And uh, yeah, the, those two mobs on the right change the wall fight uh, to make it longer, to make it harder. You, ju you just don't want to pull them in. Uh, mostly like, you don't see it because it's bugged, but there's the Roomba. The Roomba is uh, the green circle on the floor. Like right now it's sitting me and um, you don't see it because it's invisible because the, the game is broken and... Uh, as soon as the Roomba passed through the floor, you don't see it anymore. And the, pa the Roomba is through the floor on this wall area. So, kind of rough. Uh, ba balancing the elemental in this mutation, kind of rough. Uh, I say go all opal and maybe change your amulet. You go uh, like a uh, nature amulet. And then uh, for the boss fight, you change for a fire. And then you go back nature and... Uh, yeah, there's a lost part too, with a couple lost dungeons. If you're meaty, you're probably better to do it. Because uh, um, as a mage, I don't have any problem doing it. But uh, for a meaty, that's probably way harder. Because those fucking fiery ghosts, bruh, they're gonna hit you hard.
So yeah, I do my EV attack. My EV attack do AoE, apply burn, fireball, apply burn, apply a smolder stack, uh, fire pillar, insane ability. I have all my perk, my weapon perk. I have the fire pillar weapon perk, fireball. Um, yeah, I'm a see the name refreshing pillar of fire, empowering fireball, empowering meteor shower. I have frigid shower. I have uh, unending ta and pylon burst. It's all the weapon perk on my on my set, and I think it's uh, some of the best AOE in the game. It's probably the best mage build for now, but it's hard to see because uh, it changed the world meta and it's all brand new for me. This is the most fun to play and I, I'm gonna do that probably in every dungeon during a moment because uh, just too good man. I always wish to do that in this game because I, I like do mage and it was sad that my mage build was just not doing enough DPS so I was not able to use it. Now look at this, like the DPS is insane. Uh, the This pull is the hardest pull of the, of the game, like this one that we do. Uh, you just pull it outside of the room and then you do your best uh, to kill the adds before the boss because uh, the boss just gonna kill every melee, uh, he drain the stamina and shit and like uh, look there's a, those mage to hit so hard I try to line of sight and shit just like that shit is rough, fucking rough this fight is uh, one of the hardest of the, uh, the world game for some reason. As you can see I'm all in AoE. And I got Ice Spite. <laughs> po so yeah, we have a lot of points in this dungeon. Yeah, you can have like uh, around like si 6 to 9 dead around. I don't know like that depend on the time you do. Well, yeah, if you have a, like, the same time, I would say 8 to 9 dead uh, max, and you, you still can gold it. Uh, but, yeah, if you take too much time, maybe it's just not going to work. But still, just don't give up. There's probably some people gonna who are going to go down on that fight. That there's almost, like, if you play with 50 con people or, like, 100 con people, like, look, look. There's just no way someone survives to that shit while the Roomba is fucking rooting you and then poop, you do the thunder shit. Nah, it's over, bro. And then look, I have the invisible Roomba hunting me right now. It's flashing on the ground. So yeah, when we're done with that fight, we know that the hardest fight will be the last one on the, at the end uh, for the last boss. But for the rest, uh, the rest of the dungeon is kind of easy. I need a boss fight. Eh. I know that some people go down in the last part, but I don't know. That depends on some factor. I don't, I'm still not sure why. Since I'm a ranged DPS, I don't die from the same thing as the midi DPS. And it's better like that. That just means my position man is different, and it's it's good, man. I'm not supposed to have the same position man as a midi DPS. Like you see that I was behind the corner, and I got shot through the corner or something. That that's hard to see. Like rewind and look. Do you you gotta see there's some weird shit happening in this dungeon. Uh, but yeah, just don't give up. Take care. There's a crystal on the outer side of the door, so I'm fine. I just need to, like, stay far. So, yeah, I try to keep uh, as much fire stack as possible with the EV and light attack. So, uh, they are always burning and they always have a debuff. When you pass that bridge, you better wait a, a moment after the tank, because if you... You just go straight behind the tank, the ghost going to push you in the lava. I've seen many people get pushed in the lava, so yeah. 
this is the part where uh, some people change to uh, to lost. I don't know if it's worth it, but uh, that should hit, man. But, uh, don't play with that. It's uh, that fire ghost gonna kill your your whole fucking team if you don't take care. Like just a, a mistake, and everyone get caught in the Roomba, and you're not in the secret, and you're dead. Like what's nice about being a mage or having a mage or an archer into a dungeon like that is you pull away the room buff from your teammates so they never have like yes they added some time but th that small circle like that's following me around right now is not under them while they are trying to dps and that is changing the whole dungeon just the fact that uh, you always get stuck in the Roomba while trying to DPS and you're rooted and... Oh, it's a pain. It's it's just a pain. But we are lucky. Now we can use ranged weapon. And it's working as intended. Now I, I'm gonna try to pull the aggro of the mage. To cross it. So the people don't get attacked too much, but at the same time, there's like nothing to do about it. Just like, don't stress it. If the mage attack you, just use potion. And that's it. Like, um, I've seen some people dying on this part, getting shot by fire AoE and shit, but like, there's no real danger or anything in this part. Just keep going. If you get it, use potion. And yeah, that's it, bro. So yeah, why did I choose all this? Because I want to be all AoE. Uh, I chose the Ice Pylon because I wanted to keep doing DPS while I'm using my Fire Staff. Look, he's there. Hitting and I'm hitting at the same time. For me, it's the way to do the best DPS as possible as a mage. Because if you use like Ice Spike instead of the Pylon, you're gonna just use your Ice Spike and then it's done. Like, okay, you did what? 4k to everyone and then it's over. Your Pylon gonna do four, 1k to 2k each hit and he's gonna stay there like during 20 seconds. He's gonna do like uh, 40k, your ice spike, yeah, I don't think he's gonna do 40k, you're gonna have to hit 10 mob. Alright. So. Like I said, our last part is done. The rest is the boss fight. This fight is not too hard. You just need to know the mechanic. And for the rest, is really, really easy. Uh, you, you just... As a ranged DPS, you can stay away from the boss and DPS, but make sure that you are ready to come closer to the boss for when he start. Uh, he's gonna do two fire line on the ground and then he's gonna start rotating. Closer as you are of the boss, uh, quicker as it's gonna be for you to rotate around it. So you're gonna save time for your rotation around the bus so when the bus gonna rotate. I put my ice pylon on the side of the bus so the um, pylon burst hit it. I think it's a good way to pull some DPS. Gaining the empower from the meteor shower using all my ability. As a mage, one of your main thing to do as a fire mage is to keep your fire stack up. As long as your fire stack up are there, you're, you're doing DPS. You don't need to keep your in your ability. What you need to do is just keep your fire stack up and survive. And then when you, you can do that, you try to do more DPS. But your first thing to do is keep your fire stack up and survive. So you, the, the heal of the bus going down slowly, always. 100% of the time. So you see I was ready to go closer of the bus for when the spin phase was going to be. And then I spin with the bus. Just like, just easy. There's no real other mechanic that uh, gonna kill you in that fight. Like the um, 
All the circle coming from you from the other side and falling from the air is not too bad. Uh, you can just walk through it like right now you just like dodge through it and the thing nothing really really uh, dangerous. Uh, and then during that fight you can you can keep doing DPS, just hitting it like it. Nothing wrong about it. Pylon burst still doing the work. Get out of the line. Get ready for the opening. Opening the door. Because like uh, if no one goes there you can waste a good like what? 20 seconds just running around just oh no who's gonna open it? Who's gonna open it? Like if you're the maze or a ranger it's your job to be there ready to open it. I guess. So yeah, we have another chill part till the next boss. The thing really dangerous. The dungeon is looking good. Yeah, it's dangerous when I when we think about that. That fight right there can be really tricky if uh, you don't manage to clump them good. Uh, it is scattered around and they are uh, the archer shoot on the the healer or on the mage and make it really bad. So you want you want them to be clumped good. And, and yeah. If they have a good clumping, then you're gonna probably survive better. But yeah, that depends on a lot of things. Like right, this one is tricky too, cause the Roomba become invisible non-stop, and like um, it's really weird to fight the Roomba in those there at this place. Uh, this fight is not hard. Like those mobs are not hard. What make this fight hard at this place is more like the way this place is made. It's uh, mo more like environmental challenge than uh, skill challenge. Like just how to use your environment to your advantage and that's it. And how to dodge the invisible room but it's always following you around because you're the only ranger. Those things can kill some ads, so you can just pass under it, and uh, the ads gonna die when they're gonna touch it. They don't even need like to uh, get um, it by it. Just touching the, the the like the the thing, and they die when they pass uh, on it. This fight is not too hard. Uh, what I realize is, as a mage, I can pull out the um, the Roomba away from my teammate. And it changed the whole fight. It, when I stay close to my teammate, they all die at this place. And when I stay away and I pull the Roomba, it changed everything. Uh, so you see, if you're the mage, you always have to try to save your team pulling the Roomba away. I think it's the, the thing to do. As you see right now, I'm not there. They are stuck into it. It's not too bad. But, you know, it just feels good to not add it. So yeah, the best combo for this dungeon, in my opinion, would be like uh, Great Axe, Great Sword, or like Great Axe and Spear, with uh, like R Rapier VG, or R Rapier IG, or a Bow User, and then a Mage. So like, you have like uh, one or two range. And one melee that is gonna do the clump is gonna like support the the tank to help clumping the mobs together while the the ranger DPS is gonna pull away the Roomba and shit. And you need to keep still a uh, good uh, enfeebling. So if you have a bow user in your team, you can use a spear with it. So the dude with a great axe don't have to use a spear and can pull a 
a great sword that's gonna help to clump the shit or uh, any other weapon that he feel like is gonna help to clump or just CC help the people. Uh, that's what I mean. Like th there's a lot of options. Hatchet is still good. It's still good DPS. The hammer is great. Just believe in yourself and you got this, man. Dungeon not too hard. Uh, mostly learning the mechanic. And yeah, that's it. I always remember about that invisible Roomba. When as soon as there's a name ad, you know there's a Roomba. It's not you don't see it, but it's there. Some of those ads, like you can see, they are long to kill. They have a, a lot of con for some reason. We don't have the the team composition with the the mo most rand too, but still like uh, they are long to kill. Uh, but we have a void blade, we have oblivion, the rand from the the ice uh, wall, we have the rand from the um, thundering shock wave. We have the Skyward Slash from the Greatsword. So like we have the Rand, it's just like um, not not 100% always there like when we have a Spear user. For this fight you have two options. Gra grab well them and club them together or pull them back in the stairs. The people in my team say that it's easier to um, fight them there and I believe in them. Like look, look how easy it was for them. As a ranger, I cannot uh, really say my opinion in that fight because for me, all I need to do is stay away and pull away the room. But I cannot uh, like this fight is hard for me because uh, I take the aggro if the if the the tank cannot keep the aggro of that blunderbuss dude, I'm dead. Like 100%. You're gonna see right there. I'm probably you're gonna die like doing it. But you know, like. Uh, they made it hard, they, they know after a year like that, they know what's hard for us player and they, they try to give us challenge and all like that. It was a nice fight, really fun, uh, I like everything about it. Even doing those puzzles, it, it's like, at the start I was like, oh those puzzles are brain dead, like, but at the same time, you don't want like hard puzzles. Like you don't you don't want to have a headache after doing puzzle into a game like this. It's not made like that. It's a MMORPG. We want something simple, just a simple mechanic, fast pace. Because you know some people come after their work, they just want to do a dungeon, and then they just want to go to sleep with their wife and think about something else. They don't want to. Like, you know, they don't want to have a puzzle in their head uh, like if they was playing a puzzle game. But yeah, just do a dungeon, chill with your friend like that, work. So now, we're gonna go for the hardest boss in the game probably right now. Because, mostly for the tank. That's a huge challenge. We all know Torpe was the artist for boss during a long time. Then to pull out Iniad, we cannot say the boss in Iniad are the hardest boss fight. Like there's some mechanic to do, but it's not hard. But Iniad is hard. But yeah, this boss fight, you see the the size of the room. Like you don't have any space um, worth it. But it looked good. It's fun challenging and uh, you want to test your skill at new world you want to, to, to know if you can do a uh, nice stamina management there you go man you have a challenge for you you have a small area so small that you're gonna have to manage your stamina because you cannot run away you, you're there and that's it yeah Map awareness what's the most important in that, in that fight is a uh, map awareness positionment and um, just knowing the, the mob pattern, at the end it just register in your head, it's become easier every time. Uh, first time was always rough for sure, but uh, every time after that, like, 
I stay far because I'm the range. Because I'm staying far, the boss is doing like a spinny attack in my direction every like uh, 10 seconds. I need to always stay aware of that uh, spinny attack to be able to dodge it. And uh, my teammate need to be aware that he's gonna spin in my direction soon or later. Uh, like that I can always pull the bus to me and then I can we can rotate me and the tank. Like right now I pull the bus to that place, the tank rotate there, then I rotate on the opposite side. So we can always uh, stay far from each other like that. So yeah, that's a hard fight. Uh, going down is uh, just regular. There's no shame be behind it. It's just like the hardest bus in the fight. Like, going down is just what's gonna happen. If you have no teammate going down in the end 10 there, bro, like, uh, you're lucky, you're lucky as fuck. Or maybe, like, when the dungeon's gonna be older, I guess it's gonna happen, but right now, bro. So, yeah, I think, uh, e easiest way to beat that boss is the ranged DPS, uh, for the DPS, like, uh, look, the, there's one throwing at chat, there's one using the IG, so, like, if we have the bow user, uh, with the mage that would be perfect like uh, we would be completing each other and you, you can put some uh, enfeebling with the poison shot so yeah on my main I made a mage but what I think is on my alt I'm gonna make, a, I'm gonna make a archer and I'm gonna make all weapon perk 2 on every piece like I made from my main but what I'm gonna do is like uh, enfeebling poison shot and shit like this uh, I'm gonna think a bit like before making it maybe like uh, poison shot, rain of arrow, and um, we'll see. We'll see. I'm gonna think a bit about it. I need to read everything uh, and then uh, have a vibe and do it on the vibe. So yeah, as you can see, uh, tank is dead. It's a very good tank. Every tank I've seen in this dungeon just die in that fight because it's for the moment it's just impossible. Like. Soon we're gonna get it, but like there's just no way no one go down. Like everyone in that in that dungeon right now gone down at least once. And in this boss fight, we all go down once. I go down once. Uh, Maddox, everyone. So that just prove every that that fucking shit is hard and stay patient, don't rage, believe it till the end. You can finish it if you are only one, only two. You you can succeed this this boss. You can you can solo this boss in the end just with your skill. It's not like uh, any other uh, boss that you cannot solo at the end because you cannot press the the four uh, four shit. You, you can skill. You can be skillful and manage to win against this boss with your skills. This is what I like about this fight. And being a mage just make it even better for me because I always wanted to be a mage. I take off the audio volume because the you know we was speaking into the Discord and shit. So yeah, sorry if there's no audio for the whole fight, but you know, at least the gameplay is there and I explain too. So yeah, right now I'm dead. Maddox is uh, going to wait for him to do an uh, animation. When he's going to do animation, he's going to try for a res. He's waiting for the good time. Trying to not rush it too much, but at the same time, you know, the stress is there. And uh, we want to gold it, you know. We want to be the first to gold it. And we are there, and we have a chance. Like, we are... <laughs> Let's go, Maddox. You got this. We believe in you, homie. Look at those movements, those movements. Oh, oh. I don't know how he survived this, but he did. Let's go, my dicks. Let's go, my dicks. And then he res. And yeah. Fucking clutch, guys. Look at this beauty. So yeah, now I just try to keep my burn up and, and uh, survive till the end. This is the only thing I have to do. He's gonna die. We just have to survive, keep some uh, DPS always there. Uh, my, if, even if I move around, even if I do anything, my burn stays. It's perfect. 
And yeah, I'm 10 gold, guys. Woo! <laughs> Look at this, man. Oh, yeah, guys. Holy shit. So yeah, first gold on Orofino and then on this server, uh, maybe it's the first ever, we don't know, I did it, um, I'm gonna say that that, so it's not uh, too much confusing. Uh, the 03 April, so the 3 April 2023 at around uh, 10 or 11 p.m. Uh, no, 10 p.m. This is when we hit it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you like it. And see you in the next video. Peace.